वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ इंग्लिश नॉवल आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द न्यू गेट नॉवल विच डिराइव इट्स मटेरियल फ्रॉम द न्यू गेट कैलेंडर द स्टोरीज एंड द प्लॉट्स हैव बीन टेकन फ्रॉम द रियल लाइफ स्टोरीज ऑफ द क्रिमिनल एंड देर क्रिमिनल डीड्स एडवर्ड बुलवर लिटन and william harrison answered employed this particular form in their works they have written some famous newgate novels which were criticized by william makepeace thackeray in his famous novel catherine he criticized the newgate novel for the newgate novel glamorizes and romanticizes the criminal deeds of the criminals or the convicts the list and the biographical sketches of the criminals they were registered in the newgate calendar and that material was employed by the novelist This video contains information about the important works of Edward Bulwer Lytton, William Harrison Ainsworth, Charles Dickens and the other novelists of that period. This form flourished in the 1830s and it was highly criticized by the scholars and the critics for the glorification of the criminal deeds of the criminals and william makepeace thackeray criticized this particular form i have tried to give you useful information in this video i have already produced many videos on the different types of english novel gothic novel campus novel thesis novel bildungs roman historical novel sensation novel detective novel i have produced many videos on the english novel and i will continue producing these videos for you this channel needs your support and you just comment in the comment box so that we can get your feedback and make some changes if you like them to do we will make those are changes for you if you like the videos on this channel do like and subscribe literature guide so that we will continue producing these videos for you on different topics of english literature i don't want to waste your time let's dive into the video and find out the usefulness of this video let's dive into the video Newgate novel The roots of the Newgate novel can be found in the writings of Thomas Garspey's novel Richmond published in 1827 and History of George Godfrey in 1828 The term Newgate novel denotes popular English novels of the 1830s The Newgate novel has been based on the real life stories of actual notorious criminals The names of these criminals along with their biographical description have been recorded in the Newgate calendar. The Newgate novel has been called the Old Bailey novel and crime fiction with factual information. The stories and plots of the Newgate novel have been taken from actual criminal cases. It was not the first time that this type of fiction was produced. Henry Fielding's novel Jonathan Wild is based on the life of a notorious criminal. William Godwin's famous thesis novel Caleb Williams presents the arrogant criminal Falkland who murders Tyrrell. But the Newgate novel has been severely attacked and criticized by writers such as William Makepeace Thackeray for glamorizing and romanticizing criminals and their criminal deeds. The Newgate fiction presented the life of criminals in sympathetic manner. 
The Newgate Calendar or Malefactor's Bloody Register was published in 1773. The Newgate Calendar became the primary source for the Newgate novel. It contained information and list of the infamous and notorious criminals who were involved in crimes from 1700 to 1774. The calendars were published with different titles, the next series of the calendar appeared in 1826 which contained list of criminals in the Newgate prison in London. The Newgate calendars comprised biographical descriptions of the convicts. Similar types of calendars were published for the next 50 years under titles such as Tyburn Calendar published in 1779. The Newgate novels contained stories and plots derived from the Newgate calendar. Edward Bulwer Lytton occupies a significant place in the arena of Newgate novel. He wrote his three major Newgate novels which attracted the attention of many readers. Edward Bulwer Lytton's Newgate novel Pelham or the Adventures of a Gentleman appeared in 1828. The novel is set in an aristocratic social and political world. The novel Pelham is influenced by Benjamin Disraeli's novel, Vivian Grey. It deals with the adventures of Henry Pelham, a young politician. He falls in love with Ellen, sister of his friend Reginald Glanville. It is interesting to note that Reginald Glanville is suspected of murder. He narrates his story to Pelham. Pelham investigates the case and finds out the real murderer, Thornton. The character of Thornton is modeled on the notorious criminal John Thurtle. The novel Bellum also presents the fashionable life of the time. There are other minor characters which add beauty in the novel. There is fine description of Bellum's worldly mother, and Lord Vincent, their conversation is laden with Latin terms. Edward Bulwer Lytton has satirized the conventions of the fashionable novel. Sir Walter Scott eulogized the novel and hailed it as easy and gentlemanlike but he also criticized it for a slang tone of morality which is immoral. Edward Bulwer Lytton's novels have expressed the need of social reform. They have been written in the reforming manner of William Godwin. Edward Bulwer Lytton's famous Newgate novel Paul Clifford appeared in 1830. The novel Paul Clifford deals with the story of a man who falls in the hands of a gang of highwaymen. Paul Clifford leads a dual life as both a criminal and a gentleman which arouses interest and curiosity in the readers. Paul Clifford is the narrator of the novel. The novel is set in the turbulent times of French Revolution. Paul Clifford falls in love with Lucy Brandon. His involvement in the highway robbery makes him a convict. He is brought before a judge namely, Judge Brandon who is uncle to Lucy. It is revealed that Paul is Judge Brandon's son, but he is prosecuted and he is given a death sentence. His death sentence is commuted to penal transportation. Paul Clifford and Lucy Brandon manage to escape from the penal colony, and they settle in America. Another famous Newgate novel of Edward Bulwer Lytton is Eugene Aram. It was published in 1832. The novel presents the story of Eugene Aram who was imprisoned for murdering his business partner. He is given death sentence in 1759. The novel is based on the real-life character of Eugene Aram who was an English philologist but also a notorious criminal. The novel presents the protagonist's internal and external conflict. He has visionary ideals but he is violent which makes him commit crime. The heroes of Edward Bulwer Lytton's novels Paul Clifford and Eugene Aram are criminals but they are victims rather than oppressors of society. William Harrison Ainsworth is another dominant figure in the arena of Newgate fiction. His famous Newgate novel Rookwood was published in 1834. The novel was published anonymously. The novel makes use of the elements of the Gothic novel. William Harrison Ainsworth exploited the Victorian interest in crime and criminal subjects. The novel Rookwood deals with the story of Rookwood family. The action of the novel takes place in England in 1737. Piers Rookwood lives in an old manor of Rookwood. There is a huge tree in the premises of the house. According to a legend, a death would follow after a branch of tree would break. 
One day a branch of the tree breaks and Piers Rookwood dies. Luke Bradley comes to know that he is heir of Piers Rookwood. It is also revealed that Piers Rookwood has murdered Luke's mother. What makes this novel a Newgate novel is the introduction of the character of Dick Turpin, a highwayman and thief. Dick Turpin uses a pseudonym Palmer when he enters the old manor. Dick Turpin offers his help to Luke Bradley to win Eleanor Morbury's hand in marriage. But Bradley is deceived into marrying Sybil Lovell instead of Eleanor. She has been taken by the gypsies. Sybil Lovell commits suicide. As a result, Sybil's family poisons Luke Bradley. It is interesting to note that Peter Bradley reveals his identity. He is brother to Reginald Rookwood and father to Piers Rookwood. He also tells that his real name is Alan Rookwood. Both Alan Rookwood and Maud quarrel and attack each other in the tomb. The activated machinery of the tomb entraps them forever in the tomb. The novel ends with the union of Ranulf Rookwood and Eleanor Morbury. It is important to note that the novel Rookwood is influenced by Anne Radcliffe's novel Castle of Otranto. The novel Rookwood presents the greed, lust, and passion for revenge of the characters. Charles Dickens's famous novel Oliver Twist has also been tagged as Newgate novel. It was published in 1837. Charles Dickens's novel Oliver Twist is a story of an orphan child Oliver Twist who is born in a workhouse. He ran away to London and falls in the hands of a gang of robbers. The leader of the gang is the Jew, Fagin. The gang of thieves works for the sinister monks. There are other minor characters such as Bill Sykes, his mistress Nancy, and a pickpocket, Artful Dodger. Oliver Twist is rescued by Mr. Brownlow but he is again captured by the gang. Oliver is forced to work for Bill Sykes. It is revealed by Nancy that the monks want to spoil Oliver Twist's life and monks know about his parentage. They want to erase all proof of it. Bill Sykes murders the kind-hearted Nancy due to her deceitful act. Bill Sykes dies by hanging himself and Fagin, the leader of the gang is executed. It is revealed that Monks is the half-brother of Oliver Twist who wants to grab all the property. He also wants Oliver's degradation and downfall. In the end, Oliver Twist is adopted by Mr. Brownlow. Monks dies in prison. In Oliver Twist, Charles Dickens has criticized Benthamism and the New Poor Law of 1834. Charles Dickens himself detested the work as it glamorized criminals and crime. He dissociated Oliver Twist from the Newgate fiction. There is another famous Newgate novel, Jack Shepard by William Harrison Ainsworth. It was published in numbers in Bentley's Miscellany from 1839 to 1840. The novel presents the real-life story of the 18th-century criminal Jack Shepard who won affection of people. The novel depicts the criminal activities of Jonathan Wilde, a London underworld figure. He instigates Jack Shepard's father to commit crimes. As a result Jack Shepard's father is executed and his mother is left alone with her child Jack. The novel presents the childhood of Jack and Thomas Darrell who are brought up by Mr. and Mrs. Wood. When Blueskin attack Mrs. Wood's house and murders her, the incident upsets Jack to great extent. He separates himself from the group of Jonathan Wilde. After his mother's death, Jack Shepard is captured and sent to Newgate Prison in London to be executed by hanging. The character of Jonathan Wilde operates on both sides of the law and a London underworld. He also offers help to the police at times which adds interest to the novel. William Makepeace Thackeray criticized the Newgate novels Rookwood and Jack Shepard of William Harrison Ainsworth. He produced his Newgate novel Catherine which was published in the periodical Fraser's magazine between 1839 and 1840. William Makepeace Thackeray has employed real-life story of the murderess, Catherine Hayes from the Newgate calendar. There are other minor characters namely, Galginstein who seduces Catherine and his companion Corporal Brock. William Makepeace Thackeray has attacked the romanticizing of criminals in the Newgate novels. 
Edward Bulwer Lytton's Newgate novel called Lucretia was published in 1846. The novel presents the real life case of a murderer, Thomas Wainwright. The novel examines the psychology of the criminal mind. Thus, the Newgate novel became the center of attraction for the critics and readers in the 19th century. Though it glamorized crime and criminal deeds, it stressed the need for social reform. How is the video? I hope you like the video. I will meet you soon with a new video on different topic of English literature. But before I leave, if you really like the videos on this channel, do like and subscribe Literature Guide so that this channel will continue producing useful videos for you. I have produced this video on the Newgate novel for the students who are taking competitive exams like NET and SET and the other competitive exams conducted by different institutions. I will produce many videos for you in future also. If you really like, do like and subscribe Literature Guide. I will meet you soon with a new topic on English Literature. Meet you. Please subscribe Literature Guide.